Hey, hey, it's Sister Coach. How are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports. Welcome. How are you guys doing? Everyone doing fine? I appreciate you being here, man. Welcome back to the Wolfsburg Career Mode, guys. This is going to be episode 7. Last episode was insane with the news of FIFA Mobile and all of that stuff that we got uh, through. Thank you guys so much for uh, leaving the comments uh, saying love Kalefi. He was really appreciating that and he was very hyped to see the video. So there you go, Tom. And uh, now, guys, we are back into our career mode and we got to talk about a few things right here before we get even into anything. Let me just show you something. Not show you, but I can tell you. 5,478, 4,220, 3,720, 3,359, 4,269, 3,425. Those are the like amounts on the like the first five Wolfsburg episodes. That might just be the best start I ever had into any career mode in terms of likes. And if you guys can keep this up, we could put up a record on this channel. If we can make it over 10 episodes with over 3,000 likes on it, it is 100% going to be the most liked career mode on my channel. Now also, it is incredibly hot outside. It is very, very hot. I want to know where you guys are living. Let me know in the comments down below where you live and what kind of degrees it is right now in your country because it is so hot right here. Just sitting in this chair, I'm sweating. Now, last episode, if you guys remember, we had the basically the ascension of Dimata in terms of how I look at him. He is now the beast that we have on our bench. I never looked at this guy as a decent option, but last episode he scored five goals in one match and you guys had to vote. You guys had to decide if I should go ahead and train him by himself for a couple of weeks. And you have decided that we should actually do that. 80% of you guys were saying that we should go ahead and put some training sessions just in Dimata and that is something that we will be doing right now let's put a little bit of dribbling onto him let's go ahead and put a little bit of uh, shooting into him as well obviously we will put uh, hard attacking scenarios onto him hopefully he can cope with those then we go back what am I doing here we go back over to uh, passing actually defending not really needed uh, we can go to passing I guess crossing could be useful not really for a striker the most important thing actually is like the short passing so we will do that one then we'll go over to one more thing i think we can train him one more time which would be useful for his shooting um, on set pieces i believe we can improve his free kick accuracy and curve the curve is more important to me long shots obviously as well those are going to be the things that we train with dimata and apart from him i guess we can just put uh, vitinho into this as well he's getting assists on top of assists but hopefully he can score some more goals in the future now if you guys as remember we are currently doing pretty well if we can win against Berlin right here we will be moving up into the first position that is our goal but we have been struggling against the likes of Hoffenheim so Berlin could be another one like that you guys know or actually you probably don't know Ibizovic is currently in the fourth position for the top scoring list a Hatta Berlin player he has scored five and he is right behind Mali right there Yunus Mali still the top scorer in the Bundesliga it'll be interesting to see if he can keep up the good form that he has had but he should definitely get a player of the month trophy quite soon i don't think i've seen who has gotten the player of the month this month yet i believe it was someone that we didn't like i think i talked about it but right here against uh, berlin hopefully our team can pull off a great performance and do well and get to that first position we can do it i believe in our team and i hope you do as well it is raining currently, but it's time to take a look into the starting lineup of Hertha. They have Jastein in goal, who is a really good, good goalkeeper. Stark and Pereira. That is some defense right there. They have Lazaro in the left, Duda in the camp position, and Ibizovic will be playing as the lone striker. Svine down the right as well. This could be an interesting game because Pereira down the right-hand side and then Stark in the center. That could be a very strong defense and a tough one to get past. You know what? While we're starting off this game, let's take a look at some of the top comments of the last episode. It is Lamboxian. He says, Vitinho is like Firmino. Even though, even when he's not scoring goals, he's so underrated and underappreciated. 
I genuinely feel like Vitinho is the Firmino of this career mode. Like Firmino in real life, he, ten he tends to get his goals. Yes, he does. He tends to get his assists, but there is a lot of underappreciation going on in like in terms of people from outside of Liverpool realizing what kind of amazing player he is. I'm not saying this as a Liverpool fan. I'm just saying this as someone that has been watching football for years and years and years. And if you take a look into like in-depth analysis of some people uh, that looked at the Liverpool games in the past, they do see that without Firmino, this whole system wouldn't be working. And I see that as well. Firmino is probably the most essential player that we have currently at Liverpool right now. I don't think it's Salah. Yes, Salah, his goal scoring is nice, but tactically, I think Firmino is the most important player for Jurgen Klopp. Last episode, I said uh, put Love Kalefi into the into the comments down below, and one guy just put Love Khalifa. <laughs> yes, Yunus Mali, come on, he scores again. That is especially funny because it is 4:20. It is the 20th of April. Love Khalifa, Wiz Khalifa smokes a lot of weed, so it does count towards that I guess but Yunus Mali man he scores yet again I mean look at this pass from Camacho right here perfectly placed through and Yunus Mali makes one of those darting runs again and the finish with his left foot as well low driven into the bottom right corner that is the main reason why this guy is the top scorer in the Bundesliga right now every game he gets a goal or an assist most of the times it is actually a goal and not an assist which is surprising for a center attacking midfielder also there's another comment that says rip roto ronaldo's that is not true guys roto ronaldo's will have one last episode yeah and then when it when it's done we will switch to a regular road to glory and we will get into team of the season i cannot wait to play for team of the season i'm currently saving up packs trust me guys when we come back with the last episode of road to ronaldo's you will see how our team is looking how a lot of uh, the packs have already been stacked up i cannot wait to show you and i'm really looking forward to see your reaction to the last episode of the road to ronaldo's in that name and i will be switching to a, a different name which i still haven't found out yet so yeah i'm working on that maybe help me in the comments down below here comes Ricardo Pereira, Darida with the cross. Oh, Castells, that looked awkward. I think you should have gotten to that one earlier. Yunus Mali tries to get the ball moving forward with his first touch there. Camacho, good steal. Yunus, here we go, moving in towards Vitinho. Vitinho will stop right now. Oh my God, Vitinho, that was amazing. He plays it again. Vitinho now making his run through. Can he score this? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best goal we have scored. That is 100% the best goal we have scored so far. That one skill move back there. Oh boy. I want to see that again. I genuinely want to see this attack in its entirety once again. What a goal. Arnold with an amazing pass into Vitinho to finish it off right there. That is his sixth goal in the Bundesliga. Yunus Mali moves up to eight goals. And we got to check that out. I cannot let that go just like that. I need to see this again because that was incredibly impressive. So right here, we push the ball with uh, Origi. We get it. We pass it over to Vitinho. A little bit of a fancy skill move right there already. But then he's like, watch this. Dang, look at that move. And then he makes his run, passes it, makes his run again, gets it. And what a finish from Vitinho. 2 0 up against Berlin. 36 minutes. This is a very important game because this could put us at the top of the Bundesliga again. And it could prevent from Hertha Berlin to moving up to the same amount of points that we have. They're currently on 16, as far as I know. Here's another comment from Eric Stave. He says. By Onana, like so Johnny can see. That comment has over 140 likes. Do you guys think Onana would be a good replacement for uh, Castells, who hasn't been performing bad or anything, but um, he could be a very good player for us. If I uh, remember correctly, he does have a lot of potential. And this will probably turn into a goal right here. The CPU just doesn't know what to do against this. Normally, this turns into a goal. Let me try this, boys. RB, and then he goes through, and then we pass the ball. It might be a little bit too late. It's not. Max misses it. It probably was a little bit too late to pass. It was a dangerous attack right there from Hertha, and we mess it up again with our play coming out of our defense. That is not good. How did I miss that tackle? How did I miss that tackle as well? Okay, this is getting awkward right now. Oh no, I'm getting nervous. I don't like this. I don't like this. Man, I 
played that one terribly. The defensive movements there, they were just stupid. Let's be honest, it was just terrible. I was switching players the whole time. I tried to slide tackle there because I thought he was about to take a shot. And then he played a couple of passes and he's threw one on one and goal. It is Lazaro who scores, who I believe used to play for Red Bull Salzburg and used to be an amazing talent. I don't know if he's that good this year. But he has three goals in the Bundesliga already, which is quite impressive. Um, knowing that Ibizovic has been their top scorer, that is quite close to their top scorer. Vitinho, good skills. Camacho, Mali, Vitinho, yes. Vitinho, come on. Oh, that was close. It is a corner kick. The goalkeeper apparently had a touch on it. The free kick is coming in. Folk is jumping up and thankfully it is not the strongest of headers coming in from Hata there. I'm trying to play this one out the back quite slow so that we are not forced to move the ball into an attacking position quickly. But we do and Tep is through and Tep has scored against Neuer and he does it against Jarstein. It is 3-1 in the 90th minute. It was a rough game against Hata. They did have their chances and I did make some mistakes but in the end even though we do not get a clean sheet it does work out and Entep scores yet again. The passing play again I believe that was Vitinho with the pass into him. That is so impressive. The passes that Vitinho keeps on playing I don't know what is going on but he might be a perfect center attacking midfielder but I think he is greatly uh, placed in the false nine formation as a center forward playing the passes into the wingers and there it is that is the end the ref is blowing the whistle he sees that there is no more chance of Hata coming back into this game and the game is over three points Wolfsburg move up boys we move up back into the first position but there's a long road ahead of us and there are a lot of big teams that we will have to play against in the future but man we did perform well there Hoffenheim has won their game as well against Köln away you can see Hoffenheim is a strong side we didn't lose against a team that is bad we lost against a team that definitely has a lot of really really good players in their squad uh, William is not happy with his playtime I'm sorry man but we got some really good left back coming in in Philipp Max and there's no reason to play you so our next opponent is Freiburg in the 11th position they are on 14 points and as you can tell our first spot has already been overtaken but they do have one game in hand um, uh, Leverkusen is two points ahead of us Bayern Munich only one point but this will be a tough ride man until the end of the season we will have a lot of battles coming up against these big teams who just won't give up especially Bayern I do expect them to just run through the league after they have like got into form so I am seeing them as my main concern for the title. Leverkusen though have been very impressive. We have beaten them. We know we can do it and hopefully we can do it in the second matchup that we are up against them as well. Uh, but now we are up against Freiburg and the question is do we have a game that is really close to this one? Not really. So that means we can sim this one with the first team but I gotta say simulations in this career mode have been kind of odd. We have not really been too successful. I need to sneeze. I need to sneeze. And Tep scores. Ah, oh, I hate this feeling. When you like want to sneeze but you can't. And Tep scores too. Okay, Folk got injured. That is not good. He hasn't been subbed off though. Vitinho scores. That's 3-1. Come on boys, I believe in you. You can pull this off. Freiburg, you're a decent side but you're in the 11th position. Not really a team that we should be, that we should be scared of. And Philip Max scores. It is 4-1. And I didn't even sneeze. Okay, Di Mata doesn't grow, but Vitinho has grown. He has gone up to a 79 rated striker. His shot power is great. His finishing is great. His attack position is great. I don't even feel like I need to train him a lot. But um, I wish he could train composure. That would be a big thing. If you could get your strikers up in their composure. Hopefully EA will do something about that next year in career mode. But to be honest, it's EA. I'm not really expecting too much. A lot of people have been talking about Champions League licenses. What do you guys think about it? I personally think the Champions League license, if it does come into FIFA, will pr like probably only have a big impact on the Ultimate Team in terms of like special cards. In terms of career modes, we might get the graphics, we might get the music, but at the end of the day, is that really an improvement? Is that not something that gets boring after the first two, three seasons where you had Champions League? I genuinely believe it is so. Like two months into the game, no one will think, oh yes, I have Champions League music, I have the graphics, 
I don't think that's the whole point of this game. They need to change a lot more in career mode, which they haven't done in a long time, in my opinion. Um, if you look back into like FIFA 12, FIFA 10 especially, FIFA 10 and 11, those ones were the special ones. FIFA 09, FIFA 10, those ones were the best career modes they have done so far. And I hope they can somehow go back to that a little bit because that was detailed, that was fun. You always had something to do. And I genuinely enjoyed those days. And hopefully they can do something like that again for the next FIFA. I'm expecting a lot of improvements. All right, now here's the deal. We are up against Augsburg. They are in the 15th position on 11 points. We are currently in the first spot. Um, Leverkusen and Bayern obviously behind us. Hoffenheim though, big surprise of the season so far in the fourth position. They are doing really well. Um, Dortmund seems to struggle. They are getting a lot of draws, which is not really something that you expect from a team like Dortmund. We have only drawn once, but we have lost three games, which is not too different with all the teams below us. A lot of them has like two, uh, two losses, three losses. Hoffenheim with four um, even above uh, Dortmund there because they have gotten just too many draws. Now, Schalke is doing really bad this season in the 11th position. Frankfurt, Mainz and Hannover down there. Hamburg have dropped down massively at the start of the season. You guys saw them up there. Now they are in the 14th position. They're not doing that well. But since we are playing against Augsburg, who are not really the best side, I think I'm simming this one. And then playing against Gladbach, who are currently in the 6th position in the league, that will be a much more interesting game to see gameplay off. Okay, simulation victory last time. Can we do it again? Can Entep step up? Can Max step up? Oh, uh, nope. Schmid scores. Okay. Um, please get at least a draw. Yep. RDG scores. Okay. Now get a victory. At this point, we can go for the victory, boys. We have enough time. Someone come in here and score. Maybe Di Mata as a substitute. That could be an op um, that could be an opportunity for him. But Hinteregger scores. Um, can we sub in offensive players, please? Hello. Hello. What about Di Mata? Someone score. Come on. We can't lose against Augsburg. We actually lost against Augsburg. Come on, man. I know it's an away game, but they're in the 15th position and we are the best team in the league right now. And Mali didn't score. <laughs> oh, man. That was a rough one. I was expecting at least a draw. It didn't work out there. Uh, we are still in the first position, though. Oh, Bayern haven't played yet, so that is probably the main reason behind that. We'll see that in just a second, but let's go ahead and train Di Mata. Hopefully now he'll be going up to 75 or... 74 sorry that is what he's going up to his vision his short passing his finishing his shot power has improved the guy is a beast and hopefully in the future he can be a really really good super sub for the first team we haven't really used him as a super sub yet but now the big question is is Bayern going past us in the league have they won their game I do believe so but um maybe there's a big surprise even Hoffenheim could get to the same amount of points right now Leverkusen only got a draw training injury that's terrible that is not good. Who? Mehmedi, seven days. Okay, that's that's fine. Who returned? Gilavogi? Finally, Gilavogi is back, boys. And Vogt was gone for seven days. He should be back by now as well. So not major injuries in our team right now. But you can see uh, Bayern is past us. Um, Hoffenheim didn't make it. They actually did only get a draw. Bayern one point ahead of us. Leverkusen, three points ahead of us. If we do win, though, how the hell is he player of the month? Who, who is this? Genghis Undar? Is that is that Undar? I will be so upset if that is Undar. Please don't be Genghis. I hope this is not Genghis. Who is this? Who is this? Akuna. Okay, I was thinking for a second that that might be Undar because I would have been quite uh, disappointed because I wanted to get him into my team. It just didn't work out. And now we are up against Gladbach. It will be a very tough game. Gladbach have some really, really good players. And I think this could be very decisive for the season. Let's get in there. Get the victory. Oh, Bayern have won again. Yep, lots of pressure on us. And uh, we got to get over with it. Now, this is the first match that we are playing, which is set in snow, boys. That is the first time in FIFA 18, I believe, I'm playing under these conditions. Uh, Reese Oxford in the centre-back position with Aritz and then um, Janschke down the right. Kramer, Strobel, Hoffman, Johnson. And then you have Bobadilla and Rafael up front. Rafael is a dangerous man. We cannot let him take any shots, guys. And I just saw they have Vilalba in the um on the bench that used to be one of my favorite strikers ever to use on career mode is he actually still around 
Hector Villalba. Oh man, if he is, I am interested. Hold on. I just heard my dog fart like three times. I'm leaving the room, coming back in five minutes. Big pass. I see you there, De Marcos. You can shoot. We saw it in the first episode. Oscar De Marcos tries it again against Jan Zoma, who is kind of a small goalkeeper. I feel like he's not the tallest. Whenever I play FIFA, I always feel like Zoma looks very small. Is that just me? Strobe. That is a good pass into Bobadilla again. A lot of strength on this guy. I just ran past him. That was stupid. They bring it back into Rafael. Rafael! What a save by Castells. Or a bad shot from our opponent, but we don't care. We will give some credit to Castells there. We will be moving forward now with Oscar De Marcos. The counter-attack has been started off. Vitinho, I see you. That was not the skill move I was trying to do, but it's okay. Because we have enough time to get the ball into Arnold. Arnold with the shot and Zoma again with the save. We are getting forward quite nicely, but we haven't found the right spaces yet. There's RDG. Good cross from Entep towards Brooks. Vitinho on the line. It has been cleared off. That was so close. It could have easily been 1-0 there. Mali. We're still trying here. We're still trying. RDG. We'll cut back inside. RDG with the skills. RDG cutting inside there. Crosses over to Entep. Entep on his own. Entep! Yes! What a goal! RDG. The skills. The dribbling. Top performance there. And man, Entep. I seriously, I didn't think Entep would be good for this career mode. I thought he was too similar to the likes of Origi and Vitinho. Like having three very similar guys up top, it could be an issue because I wouldn't then be able to point out the differences between all these players and try to play the same way with all of them. But thankfully, Vitinho is a five-star skiller. That's a big difference. And Entep and Origi, they're on the same level for me. This guy has six goals now. Entep has six goals. Wow. I think he scored four in this episode. Two in the simulation, two from us. That's impressive, you know. I genuinely never thought Entep would be good. I thought that would be someone that we need to replace. It's not looking like it right now. Oh god, no, Rafael! That's what I'm saying. Don't underestimate Rafael. What a shot from him right there. I think it hit the hand of Brooks. No, it didn't, apparently. It's just a goal kick. Oh no. Oh no, that's the passing that I'm scared of. That is Rafael hitting the post and hit the crossbar. Castile got it away. And we get lucky again. <laughs> Klappa. I'm sorry, boys. But this feels like Bayern Munich all over again. They have all the chances. We get one and we score. Mali. Yes, let's go. Origi. Origi. Stops. Cuts inside. Gets through one more. Plays it. And <sighs> that could have been the killer shot. 74th. Arnold with the big miss. And at this point, it's time to bring on Di Mata. Um, Vitinho. I think I'm putting Vitinho at center mid. He does have great passing abilities. We are bringing on Bazur for uh, Mali. And then I guess Udokai for Brooks. We want to keep the ho keep a hold of the 1-0, so let's do that. That's a good one. Big steal if Entep can jump up for it. Yes, he can. That's Di Mata. Di Mata. On the skills, on the strength. Dimata. Ah, oh. I see you there. Down there is Origi. Origi will play through into Vitinho. Vitinho on his left foot to finish it. Now it's us not being able to score. Uh, no, 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 no. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Not like that, not like that. Fault. Big, big interception. Oxford. We gotta get this ball away. We gotta get this ball away. Max, let's go. Ref, you gotta blow the, blow the whistle. Yes, he has blown the whistle as my dog farted again. I absolutely love it. I'm dying inside. The league table is looking very interesting. Bayern Munich in the first spot, 29 points. Leverkusen now with a better goal difference than we have. So they are back into the second position above us. We are on the same amount of points, just lurking, just lurking in the third position, just waiting for the right moment to get back to the top. We were at the top for this episode and then 
We lost it because of the loss against Augsburg there. But we are already 14 games into the Bundesliga season. We're getting close to the January transfer window. Only one month left. Now, here's the deal. Should we go for Onana? Top right corner. Let me know. Do you want Castells gone? I personally think Castells has been amazing. That's just my opinion. But if you guys really want to see him gone, let me know in the top right corner. If you want to see Onana come in, Castells has been a beast. I don't think he's that old. How old is Castells? I need to see this real quick. He's only 25 and he's six foot six. And that is the reason why I absolutely loved him. He's making some really good saves, clutch saves, and he has kept us in a couple of games so far. So if we do let him go, is Onana going to be just as good as him? I know Onana is younger. He probably has a lot more potential. But as always, the decision is in your hands, boys. Let me know. But that is going to be it for this episode. Amazing goal from Vitinho. And we got the wins. We got the loss. Everything is fine. We are going for our goals. League title and then the German Cup as well. Next opponent will be Hamburg, who are down at the bottom of the league. And hopefully, we can push them down even further. Take care, guys. Have a good one. See you next time. Peace.